Welcome back heroes to some more Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. Last episode we went to the Distortion World, battled Shadow Giratina and got the orb to change our Giratina into the origin form. Today you can do two things that you can only do in the post game and you actually need the national decks for one of them. So let's go in here, the house in Heart Home City, right next to the Pokemon Center I'm going to speak to BB right here. Yo, hiya, been a long time, how's it going? Using the PC boxes? I am. Oh now looky here, that's a national Pokedex I'm seeing, good for you. You'll be using my boxes like crazy for using that now. Well, I always thought a good trainer ought to juggle boxes smartly. Though I shouldn't be the one to say so. Oh yeah, do you want a Pokemon called Eevee? I do. Here you go. Now, you'd be good to it. I would have been very, very good to it if I got this in the, um, you know, before the post game. Because before this game came out, I really, really want to have a Glacy on the team to, you know, play for the game with. But um, now it just kind of really doesn't matter too much. But if you want an Eevee, that's how you get it. Nice and easy. Alright, so the other thing we're going to do is we are going to fly uh, back down here to Pastoria City. And we're going to head to the little resort area. Because, if you remember, there was a, I believe it was a swimmer. It was like the guy in the uh, little pool. He was like, yo, I think when you become the champion, come back and talk to me. I think it was the champion or get the national decks. Not too sure. I'm pretty sure it's champion. But now we're a champion. We'll go back. Oh, I just realized, look at Garchomp, follow me. Ha! <laughs> oh, that's actually pretty cool. Hey! Let me quickly go up here as well, because I did not explore up here before. And we can quickly grab an item. Yeah, I'm going to quickly pop a repel, because you know I'm just going to get into like five encounters. Just trying to grab that, so let me quickly pop a repel. I know I have max repel somewhere. Where you at, where you at? So many items. There you go. Let's do that. And we grab this. What we got? Oh, TM for Raw. Hey! <laughs> Just realize our, uh, our Garchomp is called Raw. <laughs> so Garchomp like, follows your walk in, but if you go too fast, he just like. Woo! Does a little like uh, flying technique. <laughs> like surfing through the air. Anyway, over here, uh, I believe it's just on the outside of where um, the game directors are. Which we should probably speak to, but I'm pretty sure you just need to complete the the national decks and they give you a um, a shiny charm and a catching charm, I'm pretty sure, but I'll speak to him anyway, just in case. Oh, there's someone else here now. I'm the sound designer. I compose music for games. Wow, you beat the Sinnoh champion? That's great. I'll give you something cool for that. Oh, the DS sounds. That's pretty sweet. Oh, that's Gengar. Hi there, I'm the director who really loves Gengar. Congratulations on completing your Sinnoh Pokedex. Now keep on collecting even more Pokemon. Oh, okay, got the catching charm. So you don't need it fully completed to get this. That that just helps catch Pokemon, right? Because that would have been so helpful getting all the legendaries earlier. Uh, critical catch. Okay. Yeah, I should have probably got this before, but I just assumed you have to finish the actual national decks, but... um. Let's see, I'm really impressed, let me give you an award. Hey, thank you. So when you fill the actual National Decks, that's when you get the, the Sinnoh, sorry not the Sinnoh, the, uh, the Shiny Charm, I'm pretty sure, yeah. Right, so the guy we want to speak to is just here. Yo. Well, blow me over, you beat the champion? Now, that's something worth writing home about. The name's, oh it's Morimoto, oh, okay. I've been waiting for a strong trainer like you to come find me. If you've got faith in your own skill, care to join me in a match? I do, yes. That's the ticket. Now watch out because Morimoto's got more than enough to moto right over you. Alright, let's do it. How many games is Morimoto in? So I know he's in this, he's in black and white, he's definitely in Sword and Shield. I can't remember where he is in X and Y or Sun and Moon, but I'm, I'm sure he's probably in them in games as well. I'm not sure if he's in Gen 3, 2 or 1. This is pretty cool. Alright. Uh, Spiritomb, that's not too bad, let's, let's go for a Rain Dance first. Then we'll go for Surf and hope to do a lot of damage. And we'll, ah, oh, Will Wisp, I mean that's fine. That's absolutely fine. Ouch. And we are gonna go for Surf. 
Hey, quick claw activated. <laughs> Got big damage. The rain's up. Hopefully one shot you. Uh, it'll be a two shot. Oh, you got a berry as well. Alright, alright, it's gonna be hard. Dark pulse. Ah, I missed! <laughs> oh, let's go. Let's go. Soon we'll be taking on the, um. Oh, you can withdraw it, okay. The gym leaders and then the Elite Four. But what I'm gonna do. Oh, no, Vaporeum. My water absorb. Yep. So what I have to do with the Elite Four as well is that when you rematch them, they're a bit stronger. But once you rematch them again after that, they're even stronger than that. So I'm going to rematch them off screen. Then I'm going to show the actual hardest attempt because uh, yeah, show them three times I feel like it's a little bit much. Well, let's go into Laxus. And do we have the TM for Wild Charge? Because that would be a good physical. I'm pretty sure Wild Charge is physical. A good physical electric move for Laxus and... With the rain up, that hydro pump's probably gonna yeah, do a lot of damage. Do we outspeed ya? Good. Hey! Let's go. Just one down, five more to go. And all the experience we get here is actually really, really crucial as well. The rain stopped. Good, 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 good. Hit powered on. Um, let's go back into Lumi. For a nice scold. So I feel like we won't take it out in one shot with Surf, so scold, try to get the burn and then scold it again. So I'm pretty sure we'll outspeed it. If we can get the burn, you will not hurt me as much. Burn, 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 burn. No burn. Oh no, we did get the burn! Hey! It took a long time to uh, show up, but. Let's go and Stealth Rocks, okay, um, that's fine, shouldn't do too much. Sandstorm's gonna get kind of annoying, you got leftovers, is that? Yeah. Not gonna lie, I kind of really want to use a Powdon. Gonna be doing like my own little personal play for a Pearl, like I mentioned, and I think I'm gonna definitely get a Powdon. Although if I pick Turtwig, then I have two ground, oh, maybe I'll pick Piplop this time, Piplop and then get Get a powder. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, let's see. Jolteon. Ooh. Makes me think he might have Flareon as well. But we've got Garchomp. Go for a nice Bulldoze. And with a Sandstorm, doesn't our evasion get increased? For Garchomp, if that's his ability. Also, I should probably... I want to switch um, my abilities. If I use some of my battle points I got from trying to get a Palm, I can probably buy an ability capsule. Change something. Shadow Ball. Hey, yeah, we evaded the attack, but not sure if that was because of love or because we actually evaded it. <laughs> Let me check the ability. I was never realized with Garchomp's like 3D model, but his like back fin is really, really big. Like I never realized it was this big. I would assume like maybe half the size. Yeah, Sand Veil. Boost the evasiveness and Sandstorm. Sweet. Right, no Bulldoze. And Shadow Ball. I need a TM for Earthquake, or if we can learn Earthquake, that'd be good. Should I double check? I'm pretty sure I don't have the, the TM for Earthquake. I may have picked it up in the post game and not realised. I'll check after this battle. Alright, Ambipon, uh, let's go into Soul, and we'll go for like a... Uh, let's go Power Up Punch and then close combat, because then we just like one-shot everything. Oh, okay, it's fine. Uh, you got three Pokemon left. Let's power up punch. Oh, fake out. Ah, oh, you're the worst. Power up. Oh. It's fine, it's fine. Ah, he just loves flinching me. He's so annoying. Oh, wow, okay. He beat my Inferno. I didn't get to do anything. I should have mock punched right off the bat. That's so annoying. Okay. Uh, 
You want to flinch me? I'll flinch you. There's no way you outspeed my Togekiss. I'm going to air slash you and I'm going to flinch you. Payback for flinching me. Right, air slash. You outspeed me? And you got ice punch? Oof. Okay. We should take another ice punch, I think. And then we can finish you off as long as we don't miss. Don't freeze me. That would have been so bad if you froze me. That Abby Pump is tough, man. Ooh. Morimoto is not messing around, is he? Uh, Swagger. I will keep all moves. Flareon? Hey, I thought you might Flareon after the Jolteon and Vaporeon. But I am... Quite looking forward to the, uh, the the gym leader rematches and the elite four rematch elite, elite four rematches because apparently they're uh, they're pretty hard. Pretty hard. I need to make sure I'm prepared. Get some good items. Change the moves up a little bit. Because a normal playthrough, you can just use pretty much whatever you want. But when the AI gets a lot smarter, you're gonna have to just uh, play a bit smarter, you know. And we're gonna go for superpower. Okay, we should live that, right? Ooh. Okay, they're a lot uh, more than I thought, but managed to live. Alright, Surf. Quick Claw activates. Nice. Oh no, you got Quick Attack! Oh, that sucks. Oh my god, Quick Claw should, should beat Quick Attack. Honestly, I just that's how I feel. I feel like it should work, like that. But obviously, uh, obviously it don't. Priority moves, beat the items. Alright. Bulldoze. Will-O-Wisp. Uh, okay, that's fine. We should still take you out, right? Nice. Oh, this is a very tough battle. He's on his last Pokemon now. Hey, thanks for getting rid of the burn. And, oh, Spirit Tomb. See, I feel like a lot of these battles would be so much harder if my Pokemon just didn't love me so much. I mean, I appreciate it, I do, but like at the same time, stop loving me, because <laughs> I feel like I'm cheating. That burn would have just been detrimental to, to Garchomp, but not anymore. Now he's got a wasted turn going for another Will-O-Wisp. And let me guess, Garchomp, you're going to love me so much, you'll get rid of it again. Wait for it. Maybe not, okay. Maybe next turn. It's gonna keep lowering your speed so someone else can come and just finish you off. Dark Pulse. It's all good. Uh, let's go into Tokus and go for a Dazzling Gleam. Oh wait, the Stealth Rocks. Oh, not good. Maybe not Tokus then. I was with Amethyst. I'll save Amethyst for last. We'll just go into Lagsis. Stealth Rocks won't take us out. Go for a spark and hopefully win. So we're definitely going to outspeed you unless you've got a Sucker Punch. That would be bad. You don't. Hey. Tough battle, man. And so we prove that the strongest and most amazing of all is actually you. 26,000 Poker Dollars for winning that. Nice. We are rich boy. You're really strong? I should have known. Since you've managed to trounce me, I guess you've earned yourself a reward. Oh, the Oval Charm. Nice. That makes hatching eggs easier, right? Let's have ourselves a rematch someday. Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, increased chance of uh, finding Pokemon eggs. Okay. Cool. All right, so there's that. So next up, uh, what do we want to do? So for post game stuff, we're getting really close to the end. We have um, to get the legendaries, which I still need to get the mysterious shards for, which is going to take some time. Uh, we got Dawn and Barry battle, which I want to do for the finale. Uh, got G gym leader rematches and elite four rematches and Cynthia. Uh, I think we'd go. Gym Leader rematches next. Might be good. 
Maybe I'll quickly do the Elite Four just to do um, a little bit of grinding and then get ready for the next time after you fight them. Because the third time fight them, they're the strongest they're going to be. So I can get ready for that. Just do a little bit of training here so we're ready for the, uh, the gym. Get that last little bit of uh, experience. So next episode, I think we'll rematch the gym leaders. Then after that, we'll rematch the Elite Four. Then beat Cynthia. Then we'll go for Legendary Hunt and then it will end with a uh, rival battle against Dawn and Barry. Yeah. Alright, so I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Peace.